Hello, my name is Annette. The, the, the Thinking Critically case I will be presenting today is Three Cups of Tea, um, Mismanagement or Fraud. This is from Chapter 1. The case study is about <clears throat> someone named Greg Mortensen who lost his way while attempt attempting to climb the K2 mountain. He ended up in a village called Corp. Sorry if I mispronounced that. <laughs> um, where he was rescued by villagers. After returning back home, he wrote a book about his journey, or his supposed journey. Um, he ended up getting $72 million in donations. Um, but it was later confirmed that the book he wrote, which was Three Cups of Tea, was mostly fabricated. Mortensen never lost his way, nor he was never rescued by the villagers. Um, these donations he was receiving, he was using them as personal expenses. Um, he would give an average of 44% um, to go towards building schools for cities or villages. Um, Greg Mortensen was then removed from, from the organization, but he was still getting a steady salary. Um, in conclusion, the organization was not receiving enough donations by 2015. Um, Mortensen then decided to retire from the organization after this, and in, in 2015 as well. Um, today, I will be answering question one, question number four, and question number six. Okay. Question number one says, based on the evidence presented in this case study, was um, Mortensen's work at the CAI an example of deliberate fraud or mismanagement? Define your, defend your position. I believe it was mostly mismanagement of funds. If the money did not go to building schools or to help build schools, I would say it would be completely fraud. But in this case, some of the money was going to building those schools. Um, it was not right for Greg Mortensen to use um, the donation money for his personal and expensive items. Um, I believe they should have managed the money better by cutting costs where there shouldn't have been any costs at all. Um, question four says, why would the CAI want to keep Greg Mortensen as a visionary um, capacity? Um, I believe the CAI organization decided to keep Greg Mortensen as a visionary capacity because of his best-selling book. Um, it helped the creation of the CAI organization. Uh, most people donated money after reading this book. Um, so without, re without Mortensen's book, the charity organization would have possibly never existed. Um, in my opinion, it made no difference if Greg Mortensen was a visionary, a visionary capacity or not because um, after the allegations, the donations significantly, significantly dropped by 2014 and Mortensen was still in the organization in 2014. Um, he retired in 2015, as I said before. This, so this leads, leads me to believe that even with Mortensen in as a visionary capacity, the donation still dropped. The CAI should have cut ties with Mortensen because I believe it could have turned the or they could have or turned the organization around. Um, they could have also fixed their reputation. Um, 
I think they would have had a better chance to restore DCAI's reputation if Mortensen was not part of any of it. Um, this leads me to question number six, which says, what should be done to restore the reputation of the CAI? To restore the reputation of the CAI, I think that they could have done many things. For one, and most importantly, they should have let Mortison go, as I said earlier. They should set rules and regulations and a code of ethics. Um, in addition, the board of directors should oversee all the cash-related expenses. They should hire an accountant to oversee those cash flows to check where the money is going. So in conclusion, I believe Greg Mortensen did not commit in intentional fraud, but it was somewhat fraud, but not intentional, because he accepted the money from people who thought his story was true. Greg Mortensen knew what he was doing was wrong, was or was not right at all. As it said in chapter one, of the book. People understand the difference between right and wrong even with their, when they're small. They learn the difference between right and wrong. Um, they grow up with these. Um, he lied. He also lied and there was not a good reason, good enough reason as to why he did it. Uh, maybe because he wanted some donations but he still spent the money for his personal needs. Um, he also lied. He could have said the truth. Um, in addition, uh, according to an article I read, it's called Three Cups of Tea, um, writer Greg Mortensen, A Fraud. That's what it's called. The charity, um, it says that the charity filed um, IRS taxes once in 14 years. Um, there was also no accounting taking place to show the cash flows in the money. Um, Mortensen was not keeping any of the receipts that he of the purchases he was making, so there was no form of just. There was no form of like knowing where the funds came from. Um, I believe that as well as Greg Mortensen and the board of directors, um, I think they they both knew that they did wrong. Um, I would possibly would not I would possibly not give the money back to people. Because if the money was used for a sincere reason, for example, building schools in part of the cities or towns or villages who mostly needed it, then there would be a good reason to keep the money to fully fund those projects. Okay, this is it. Thank you.